It's about the moment. Realizing the moment. Do you know how many people, after so many years, even till today, it's been, I think, more than 10 years, but there are people even till today who are still wishing when Bitcoin was less than one dollar, who are wishing they bought. They wish that oh, if I just took ten dollars and bought Bitcoin and waited, ten dollars, come on, you ten dollars you could have just bought a pizza, hundred rand. Eh? You could have just bought a pizza, you eat, it's done. If you fasted for one day and took that money for food for one day to put in Bitcoin today. Today, you'd be untouchable. So there's a man who bought 300 of it and forgot about it because it was worthless at the time. But he had a strong feeling that he must put towards this thing. It was worthless. After five years, the thing shot up in value. Instantly a millionaire. Are we together, church? So whenever the Lord prompts you to do something, it is in the moment to do it. Don't miss the moment. Some of you, God is going to place you in strategic positions with people that have access to your next level. Be smart when you are in that place. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? My first days of serving under our parents in the Lord. We were taught a lot about sacrifice. And at the time, it was the most painful message to me. Because I was taught sacrifice when I had nothing. I was taught sacrifice when I literally had nothing. No source of income, no money, nothing. Not even an imagination of where money would come from. All I had was the clothes that I brought there. And sacrifice would be taught. The message that I grew up on was that you never approach a prophet empty-handed. So I would literally have to borrow from people just so that I don't approach the prophet empty-handed. But I knew that even that one dollar at the time, the one dollar for me was a miracle. But I would approach him, say, this is my offering. And I know at the time when he would look at it, he was like, ah. Because I knew that one dollar is of no value to him. But to me, this one dollar is my all. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Sacrifice. I remember the time where I was, we had already had a, a church in Johannesburg and it was after months not seeing him, he was in the US. And he came back and he asked me, son, when last did you give a sacrifice? I said, ah, Papa, you know, I don't want to give something small, small. And he said, it's not about what you are giving. It's about the principle. Because you are missing out on the principle of giving. Because you are saying, this is of no value to me. He said, if you, you can't do it now at a hundred rand, you won't do it at a hundred thousand. So I made sure I never missed an opportunity to sacrifice. Whenever my mind is somewhere else, mama will always remind me, you are going to meet papa. Take an offering. I said, but this one is for this. She said, take an offering. You've got to sacrifice. And that which I would have worked hard for, for months, immediately when I saw it, after two weeks, it comes back. Be like, what is this? How is something coming back with speed that I worked for over such a long period of time? That sacrifice, you cast your bread upon the waters, and after many days, you will find it back. The thing is, whatever that the Lord will require you to sacrifice, He already knows it's going to come back. But the opportunity to release it will not. Church, this is important what I'm teaching you. Are we together here? Whatever you have right now, it means you already have the power to work towards it. You have the power to obtain it. You have the power to receive it again. But there's a speed that comes when you have accepted that this is what the Lord wants you to do. You obtain a grace that you would have never had before in your life. I'm teaching you this because I know 
there will be opportunities that God will create for you to sacrifice. And sometimes this is how we get the anointing. When we sacrifice. Some people might sacrifice themselves. I'm ready whenever you want to do anything, Lord. Some people will sacrifice that which is of value. But I'm telling you now, God will never ask you to sacrifice something that is not of value in your heart. Because there must be nothing that stops God from reaching out to you when He wants to. So some people, the Lord might require from you money because you have placed money above God. So God will require money from you. Some people, God will require time because their time has been placed on everything else except God. Sacrifice. Everything that is to take your life to the next level is connected to sacrifice. How do we explain today that there are people, Acts chapter number 5, Ananias and Sapphira, who lost their lives after they pledged to a certain sacrifice and never fulfilled it. And on that particular day, they thought they lied to an apostle, not knowing they lied to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, couldn't have you used, come on, did you need that money so badly that you had to take their lives? No, it's about the principle. Church, are you here? If you are listening to me the way I am preaching to you, you are not going to assume I'm trying to say something. I'm saying it to you. I'm not going to try to say it. I'm saying it to you. I told you, my duty is to teach you. What you do on it is up to you. It's one thing for you to give offering in the church. We are giving offering 20 rand. Da, 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 da. That's one thing. It's one thing to give partnership in the church. Partnership, you can say, I love what this couple is doing for God and I want to support it. Every month I'm going to give 1,000 rands to the church for rent, for internet, whatever. This is partnership. Something that you are saying, I'm going to partner in this area for the church. But when it comes to tithe and sacrifice, this has nothing to do with offering. It has nothing to do with your love for us. It has everything to do between you and God. Because your tithe is not requested by your men of God. It's requested by God. Your sacrifice is not requested by your men of God. It's requested by God. So I have to teach you. The, the same way I teach you how to avoid sexual immorality, disobeying God, all of these things that can destroy your faith. We were talking about marriage stuff. Avoiding, helping to avoid you, uh, uh, helping to teach you avoid uh, wrong relationships. I must also help you to avoid making mistakes when the Lord has spoken about a sacrifice. Amen. Are you here? Sacrifice will take you to the next level.